What's going on Minties, the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, and today I'm going to take an advanced look at the Umbrella Academy Dallas Library Edition from Dark Horse Comics, so please stay tuned. Okay, now before we get this started, I wanted to say thank you to the folks at Dark Horse for sending us an advanced copy of this book. Uh, now, this is the second volume of Umbrella Academy. Uh, the first one is called, of course, The Apocalypse Suite, and then... Dallas, and there is a third volume called Hotel Oblivion, but that's only available in trade paperback. So here's what the spines of the books look like together. Identical other than the color. Then we have the back. Of course, that's the car with John F. Kennedy. Um, it still has the little Netflix logo. The price of each one of these is $39.99. Now let's take a look at it. Oh, uh, before I mention it, this book does come out on November 13th. That's when this book comes out. Okay, so let's get this opened. I don't think I mentioned it yet, but I love the feel of this soft hardcover. It's like a soft feeling on the... It, volume 1 had this uh, a very similar feel. I love that. I don't know why I'm a sucker for things like that. Uh, Kennedy. So this one here, um, bar... Like... Season 1 of Umbrella Academy borrowed elements from here and, of course, the Apocalypse Suite. Here's a nice little piece by Gabriel Ba. So, the Umbrella Academy by Gerard Way and Gabriel Ba. Gerard Way, of course, from My Chemical Romance, but he's made himself a name in comic books now because of this and then, of course, his Doom Patrol run. Uh, here's an introduction by Neil Gaiman from the 2009 trade paperback. And chapter one. So we're not going to flip too much through here because I don't want to give away what happens. Uh, I will say there are time travel elements, but if you've watched the show, you're familiar with that. I uh, wanted just to showcase a little bit of this wonderful artwork by Gabriel Ba. Uh, so if this takes place, of course, right after Apocalypse Suite. So all of our characters are back. Rumor, Space Boy... Uh, Kraken and the white violin but here let's go a little bit through here because uh, there are a couple of characters that I'm sure will look familiar to you if you have watched the Netflix show and that's these two characters right here um, and if you haven't I'm not going to reveal who or what they are but mainly this is just to showcase this beautiful artwork Gabriel Ba he um, he's one of the two brothers uh, Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba, they're the ones that did uh, Two Brothers and Day Tripper. And Gabriel Ba was the artist on Day Tripper. And you can kind of tell, like, he has this very Mignola-like artwork. He has a um, Eduardo Rizzo type of artwork. Lots of use of shadows and contrast. I love his art. And it's the main reason to get this book in oversized format. Like, we've done a review of Apocalypse Suite, and I feel this the, the story of Dallas was a little bit better just because it added... Um, I love time travel. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. So it added those kind of elements into this story. And the, the, the quirky family, there's the boy. And let's just show a little more of this beautiful art in this oversized format. I've done an overview of Volume 1, by the way, if you want to check out a size comparison to other collected editions. Uh, James Jean is no longer providing the covers, though. It looks like it's actually Gabriel Ba. Now let's look at the extras, because that's one of my favorite things about these library editions. Okay, so here's some extras right here. A little flashback story. By the way, this uh, particular volume is also available in slipcase but the slipcase has been out of print for many years but they are reprinting the slipcase to the apocalypse suite sure i'm sure they're going to reprint the slipcase to this uh, so if you're holding out for that it'll probably it'll be the exact same size except this book will fit into a nice little box here is some concept art and holy crap that's jim lee I had no idea about that picture. That was drawn... Yeah, this original miniseries, it's all six issues, uh, originally came out in 2008. So it was like a direct follow-up to Apocalypse Suite. 
And then, of course, we got Hotel Oblivion last year. So there was about 10 years in between Volume 2 and 3. Here are some designs for those two characters I was talking about. Hazel and Cha-Cha. And here we have the poster, They Save the World, But Can They Save Themselves? Space Boy, The Kraken, The Rumor, White Violin, Number 5, and Seance. Oh, and then The Forgotten Sibling. Who they talk about in here from time to time. And here's some more character designs, sketches. This is the stuff that I love about books like this. I also love looking at artwork before the inks. Makes me appreciate it so much more. These kind of things right here. Had to skip a couple pages so it didn't give away part of the storyline. So it is called Dallas for a reason, and there's time travel. And then this is the cover to the trade paperback. Because it has been available, like I said, in trade paperback and in uh, a slipcase edition. This being the trade right here. Which, I think this one's out of print and has been for a long time. Then you get uh, Gerard Way and Gabriel Ba, what they've worked on. And also available from the creators of Umbrella Academy. Oh, I forgot Gabriel Ball did do the vampire story, which I don't think they've collected yet in hardcover format. As you could probably tell, it is sewn binding. It lays over really nice. Uh, much like Volume 1, you get a ribbon. This time it's red, like the cover color, instead of black. And I don't think I can say much more than just showing you the eye. That is wonderful and perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. You want to see that curve as your book folds over. And that was it. That was the contents of this library edition. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking these up in library editions or if you're going to try to wait for the slipcase. If you hope that they end up releasing Hotel Oblivion in library edition as well. Or if you've never read Umbrella Academy and this is your first time reading it because you're just a fan of the show or you just want to go in blind. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit the notifications button to let you know when our videos are going live. Don't forget to check us out on Redbubble and Patreon. All of that is in the descriptions. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.